everybody, we're here with our friend Neil deGrasse Tyson. Got a new book here. It's called Welcome to the Universe, now in 3D. It's a visual tour. It is. Okay. It so, so is. All right. Well, first of all, I love being welcome to the universe. It's one of my favorite places to be. What? Um, <laughs> how do we, How does the 3D work? What's well, so, going on with so these this, goggles So here? this is in a series of books that started I, when I was on the teaching faculty at Princeton. Mm -hmm. I had two fellow professors, mm -hmm. a J. Richard Gott and Michael Strauss. And the, the course started with 40 people, and then they had 100, 150, and 300. became really popular. Then people wanted, like, the book. So we wrote a textbook, but it was very breezy, because we taught the course in a breezy way. I think that's why it was popular. Then they said, no, we want to make it a real textbook. So we wrote a problem book, and then we wrote a, they said, no, that's too big. Can you make it littler? So then we made a pocketbook. And wait, wait, no, that's not the pocketbook. This is the pocketbook, OK? <laughs> so we did that. Then people said, the universe has beautiful pictures in it. So can we see pictures? And so out we brought in a co-author who was totally into. <laughs> I knew you would take it away from me. <laughs> so I've no. interviewed you before. So there are pairs of images in here okay. that are three that through the. For instance, through the, this one is a close up of a comet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you look yeah. through the. You look, you look through the. Okay. Yeah, you got to look right through, here. The, the, yeah, you look through the. Okay. Oh, and then I kind of like defocus a little bit. Ooh, yeah. check that out. Yeah, yeah. So what happens is. Oh yeah. Yeah, this, I know this looks weird. Oh yeah. damn. Okay. That is sweet. Okay, so what happened? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> so the point is, no, it's a very simple point. I can talk about the universe all the time. But when you look at these images pop of the planets, mm. of the constellations, of Earth, oh, of the my, moon. That's my girl Enceladus right Enceladus there. Enceladus will totally that's rock my girl your world. Right there. Okay? And a lot of water there, right? Yeah, underneath. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In fact, in fact. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just today, there was the press conference for the planetary, planetary Decadal Survey that announced the priorities, and Enceladus is one of the priorities. What's going to happen? Are they, they going to land? Are they going to drill through that ice with something? No, they don't have to. They don't have to. You know why? Because it has ice geysers. So the stuff underneath is coming to you. Well, I heard Pluto's got ice geysers, too. Don't try to get Pluto a planet again. Just, just. <laughs> You're afraid I to know, engage. I know. You're afraid to engage. <laughs> I, I know where you're trying to get there. But so, uh -huh. so, so they just announced that. So there's a whole new uh, schedule for that, for, for planetary exploration. What I'm saying here is with the planets are, are they're objects, and you can learn about them. You can see pictures of them, but they pop in this book. It's really they beautiful. They pop. And, and, <laughs> and the website, well, welcome to the universe.net. Okay, you can see all these books, but you click on this, this bonus material where I personally narrate each caption while and did you pull this up? What's your what's your narration voice? How do you how do you Oh, oh of course it's a planetarium voice, of the course. The planetarium voice? Yeah, a That's planetarium okay. director voice. Can I get a taste of it? Where's my microphone? Okay. Yeah. Welcome to the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac Hayes. <laughs> no, no, it's just... It's I didn't realize the universe was so sexy. No, no, we got, we got this. Yeah, yeah, welcome to the universe. And so I read in my planetarium director voice yes. all of the captions and the bonus on that website, welcome to the universe.net. And then you, while you're looking at it with this book, is what I'm saying. And, and one, one other thing, the moon, I don't know if you knew this, well, you knew that it always shows the same face to us, right? Yes, yes. But the moon actually does a little... Jig, a little like wibble this. wobble. A little wibble wobble, right? And so what we did for this was not just say, "What was the look, moon look like in 3D?" We waited for it to jiggle this way, took that image, waited for it to jiggle this way, took that image, made that your stereo image, and now it's like, "Oh my gosh, the moon is." You just want to hug the moon because it's so real, and it becomes a place rather than a picture of an orb. It becomes a place, and and. There are constellations in here. People look up in the night sky, there's a constellation, you think it means something? It doesn't mean a damn thing. These are random stars in space. And we show you that in this book. Because you put, on the, you put, you put in the 3D, and your favorite constellation that you think is affecting your life. <laughs> what, 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 what kind of ego do you need to think the universe gives a rat's ass about your day, okay? That's, what is that ego? Anyhow, you put on, you put on the goggles, and then the, 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 the constellations pop into 3D, and you see that the stars are just scattered across space. It's just, it's... I think the universe... <laughs>
I think the universe cares about you. <laughs> uh, and if you want to learn more about the universe, welcome to it. Welcome to the universe in 3D is available now. Neil deGrasse Tyson, everybody. The one. We'll be right back with comedian Emmy Blotnick.